Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad geometry problem and here we have a nice right triangle in which the length of its sides are x, x square and x cube respectively. Uh, so this is the right angle and this is the any unknown angle in this right triangle so that we solve this problem for the values of x. So now uh, you very well know about uh, the right triangle, the side opposite to the right angle is known as the hypotenuse and the side opposite to this angle is known as the perpendicular or altitude or the side which join these two angles is called the base of this right triangle. Okay, so finally we have uh, uh, the data uh, which we give in the form of sides are mm, here you have uh, the hypotenuse is equals to x cubed and base is equals to x and perpendicular equals to x square okay so uh, you uh, one more thing you know about the right triangle is that uh, the, the Pythagoras theorem is also hold in the right triangle so that you very well know about the Pythagoras theorem. It is stated as hypotenuse square equals base square plus perpendicular square. So this is called the Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So uh, now uh, we use this Pythagoras th theorem to find the value of x. So here we need to substitute the values of h, b and p. Uh, and we have the value of h is x cubed and its whole square equals base is x square and perpendicular is x square and its whole square okay so after this step uh, we have uh, this is x cubed square and we have the exponent to the exponent and it will be written as x to the power of 6 equals this is x square and here you have uh, x square and its whole square becomes x power 4 okay so here we move these two values from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x6 minus x4 minus x squared equals to 0 and you see here uh, all of the terms uh, involve x squared so that uh, we need to take common x square from here and it will be written as x square into when we take common x square from x6 it will be uh, written as x to the power 4 here the remaining terms is x to the power 4 and here we take common x squared it will be written as uh, x squared minus this is 1 and this whole equals to 0 okay so in the next step you see here uh, we have now we just divide this into the two cases so that our first case is we take x squared equals to 0 and the second case is we take x4 minus x squared minus 1 equals to 0 okay so uh, in the next step uh, you see here uh, we have uh, x squared equals to 0 so here you easily get the value of x is equals to 0 but if you uh, focus on this x square so this x square uh, be the our perpendicular side of this given triangle okay so you see here this is perpendicular side of given right triangle so that if our perpendicular side is equals to 0 uh, it is not possible now uh, our one the length of one side equals to 0 so that we rejected this value because uh, the length of all the sides must be greater than zero okay uh, so that uh, here we need to find uh, we need to solve uh, this equation and we get the values of x so here uh, we rewrite this equation as this is x4 we write it as x squared and its whole squared minus we have x squared minus one equals to zero and now in the next step you see here we have x squared with the common value so that uh, we just take here y is equals to x squared so when you substitute this x squared equals to y so that our above equation is written as y squared minus y minus 1 equals to 0 
okay so uh, in the next step you see here this equation will becomes quadratic in y variable so that here we need to use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so that here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals 1 b equals minus 1 and c equals minus 1 okay here uh, we use the quadratic formula in order to solve the above equation so that uh, we uh, just uh, uh, write the quadratic formula here and we know that y is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a this is the over nice quadratic formula and uh, here we substitute the values of a b and c so that the value of uh, uh, b is equals to minus 1 so it is minus into minus 1 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 1 and it is divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1 okay so in the next step uh, we have y is equals to this is minus times of minus becomes here plus 1 and plus minus square root of minus 1 square and minus 1 square equals plus 1 and this is minus times of minus becomes here plus 4 it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and now in the next step we have y is equals to 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4 is 5 and it is divided by 2 okay so in the next step you see here we have uh, two values of y so that here first we write the positive value of y it is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and here we write the negative value it is 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so if we focus on the second case in this case you see here this value uh, gives us the negative number okay so this this is the negative value so uh, if you see here uh, our y uh, so uh, we first back substitute the value of y and we uh, we put here our y is equals to x square so that when we back substitute the value y it will becomes x square equals to 1 plus k root of 5 over 2 and similarly here you have x square equals to 1 minus k root of 5 over 2 so these two values are the negative value so this is the negative value but here you see that our x square is the perpendicular side of the given right triangle so it is not possible uh, the length of perpendicular side is negative uh, because uh, uh, x square is always greater than 0 because this is perpendicular and side length so side length is always positive it is not possible it is negative so that we rejected this case okay so here we have only one case to proceed and this is that case so that here we need to take square root on both of the sides so you get here a square root of x square equals 2 plus minus square root of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. These two and square root are gone and here we again neglect the negative value and we choose this positive value it is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and here we easily get uh, the value of x approximately approximate values of x is 1.272. So this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.